Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, sir. Remember that? Oh, God. Yes. Oh, yeah. Back in the 60s. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Now he's getting cold back water. Down the streets like that. I remember L.A., man. If you go down to L.A., you come back with two or three gallons of stuff, man. You know, just a real trip. You know, people walking around. No, get out of your mind. Oh, God. I think fine. You know, there were people flying around, man. It was really crazy. A lot of people don't realize that. I mean, you take that, you take that real stuff, man. You know, you can fly. I don't mind how long I'll tell you to do I do understand people aren't into it anymore. I don't blame him because it's not a good thing. You know, you know, I knew a guy that threw that off and threw off the building and never saw him again. Man. He, just, he just threw off the building. Oh, it's really. I think he disappeared. That's what I did. But I couldn't say because I was not. I was just there, you know, kind of watching. I used to do work for the government, you know, back then. Yeah, I'm sure. We, we kind of keep an eye on those. Hey, uh, anyway, they call them hippies back then. They had the cops. Did. I remember I used to work for the CIA. Uh, well, shoot. They were keeping an eye. And the FBI. Yeah, I, I worked for the FBI too. And they were, uh, they were keeping an eye on us people. Man, I was telling them, yeah, oh, I get, they plant bugs on people. Uh, you think it's bad today. You think it's bad today. That man, man, people were born. You know, they, they didn't tell moms, but they told we all kids to be born. And before they were born, they had the government had these, uh, these little chips put in. Oh, yeah, oh, uh, yeah. And those chips were designed to inject, inject drugs into them all their lives. Oh, my God, that's terrible, man. There's still people today walking around like that. Yeah, no, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, those are bad days, man. They look on the blacks, the Mexicans, and the hippies. I saw the CIA tested and stuff. Oh, man, that was bad. It was a bad trip, old man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it, because I was, I think I might have been working with them. I don't know. I took a lot of acid back then. I mean, they'd give it to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, she did. Yeah, I remember, I remember uh, going down to the uh, post office and getting, you know, getting a package, and it would have, uh, you know, it would have uh, LSD, and it would have mescaline, and it would have a bunch of mushrooms and some peyote bubbles, all packed up there, all packed from the government. And they just say, here you go, buddy, check it out. Well, once we started doing that, uh, things got out of hand pretty fast. I tell you, it really did. There were people flying. Now, I'm not kidding. You think I'm just, just tearing out talking to you, but I ain't kidding. There was a guy, there was a guy down there in Texas. He was out of Texas. The Texas Division of the CIA, and uh, he was out there and he was testing this stuff. He was part of a program, you know, this program. You might have heard it on that show. They used to have a show. Oh, God, Ardell, yeah. And they have these guys, man. They could travel and they could go places. And they were all high on acid, man. They were, that's what they did, man. They took acid to travel around, man. And they made a lot of money. The government gave them shit all the money, man. I tell you. I mean, those guys flying, they were not flying, but they were traveling. I don't know. Quantum thing, I think. Some kind of quantum thing. Oh, yeah, they got to shoot these quantum engines, man, work on LSD. I mean, that's how they work. They got this, uh, they got this engine. They got this engine, this new engine, this anti-gravity, time travel, all rolled into one. And it's powered by LSD. It is so fucking weird, man. And it doesn't take very much. It's like in a person, you know, it takes a tiny bit. Well, it's the same thing. It's a tiny bit. It runs for 50 years. It's really wow. I don't know what to say here. Uh, it's all kind of crazy. I know why people know it got so crazy that people don't believe it. It's not like, oh shit, and he's nuts. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But I tell you, I saw people fly. And I saw, I saw, I saw you, man. That's what I did. I saw you. And it's, I mean, what better, what, what better proof is there? I saw you. There we go. And you'll get around. I saw you. And then go, I don't you know, it's a crazy world. Yeah. That was a long time ago. I'm an old guy now. Man. I'm an old guy. But that damn man, that When the government, man, the government, man, they were so, they were so into finding out. You know, I'll tell you, the government is responsible for the dope world. Man, they figured out how to make that shit. And then they found out what it did. Well, the big one was that. The big one was the flying. That was the big one. The other guy flying machine. That was the it was kind of out there, Roswell. You heard that place, Roswell, New Mexico, where well, they got this place out there where they go grow special kind of herbs and they cross it with all other kind of stuff and inject it with LSD. And then these guys come out there and they kick it and they sit around maybe a week and they think about shit and they come up with this crazy stuff. And I tell you, I saw it happen. I saw it happen. I saw it happen. One guy, one guy comes along. 
And he says, I got this wrong. So I look at him and I say, whoa, oh, man, that's pretty cool. He says, uh, no, 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 no. Work for no energy, man. It generates energy. Oh, I said, whoa, that's wonderful. How's it work? Well, I can't tell you. What do you mean you can't tell me? Well, no, I can't tell you. I'm free. I'm free. How are we going to get power? I said, well, look, man, you got a free energy device. This you and me make some free energy. And we just use it for ourselves. Oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, shit, okay, man, to find out, man. I can't tell anybody. Oh, well, how the hell are we going to use it? Oh, I don't know, man. The government won't let me. Oh, let's just do it, man. Let's just do it. Let's use it from you. Let's just you use it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. God, it was pushing. The only free energy was that, that machine they made afterwards. It's powered by LSD, and you put a little bit in there, and then you connect. It does take a lot of power. That's the one thing. LSD and a lot of energy. They got uh, they got this place out there in uh, Colorado, and they got this big, big power lot. And it goes it comes right from that big dam they got there. And they are able to draw the wires, man. The wires are five feet in diameter, and they're two up. And they're cryogenically cooled. And they're able to transfer the entire power of the Gibraltar Dam or some damn damn Hoover Dam, whatever dam is out there. They can just power the whole thing down for one fraction of a second. They pop that shit in there. Oh, yeah, man. And that's it. And LSD and a lot of energy, man. You got some. And that goddamn thing flies. I saw it, man. I saw it. I did. I saw it. No energy except, except that quick burst from the Hoover Dam and uh, a lot of LSD. No, 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 not too much. I, mean, I, I don't really know how much LSD it took. I didn't see them put that in. But I know what was there because they told me that I told me such this how it works. Oh, my God. God, the world is strange. It's strange all the time, you know. I heard the other day, I heard a really weird thing the other day, man. I heard that there was this new kind of smell vision thing where you plug in this little thing into your iPhone and, uh, you know, yeah, somebody can send you a fart. I don't think you're just kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, well, we got this machine. Oh, really? Plug that in? Oh, well, yes, I can. I can also send you a rose. Oh, that's pretty cool. A rose smell. You can send a smell through the... Uh, now, talk about quantum physics now. I'm going to tell you something. They are able now to control your minds. No, oh, they don't know what they do. Oh, they control your minds. Tell you. Control your mind. I know, that's for sure. Everybody, you guys are all watching the show, right? Or you're listening to what I'm saying. Now. That's because I'm, they control your mind. You wouldn't listen to this any other way. I know you wouldn't. But they, they control your mind. And they're going to do it for that, I believe. Because I mean, they want you to think about this shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm all with I don't know. But I do know that I have this quantum physics thing. It's really big. And you take quantum physics and you mix that up with LSD. You got some. You got something big. That's all I can say. Government knows it. Everybody knows it. Man, who's in it? Who knows it? You don't know. Anybody who's in it, you know. You know what I mean. There's guys. Yeah, there's guys. There's guys. There's guys. There's guys. Yeah, well, shit, man. They make reality happen. You know, you think. I'm telling you. I've seen it. I saw the building. I saw the building where it happens. Now, you're going to laugh. But there's this place out there called Area 51. And it's out of the middle of the desert somewhere. And then shit, I don't know. They got a phone. Number. They got a phone. Number. You can't dial. I mean, they got their own phone system or something. And these guys uh, have, uh, have this place where they generate reality. Now. I mean, that's their job. You think, you think, I bet every one of us, I, I know I think I'm real. I, I mean, I can't help that. But, you know, we all think we are real. We all think we're right here doing what we're doing. And uh, the fact of the matter is that we are totally a figment of uh, somebody else's imagination. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know if I am a figment of somebody's imagination, but I can't tell you that uh, reality is controlled out there and just placing from you know, the and everything. Oh, yeah. I've seen flying saucers, man, out there. Man. They fly around, you know, space guys come on, you know, tell them what to do. Of course, the government has to do it. You know, they don't do it. You know. If the government don't do it, oh, God, I hate to think about it. Oh, those guys are, those little guys, they're not bad guys, but they are sure, sure sneaky guys. I don't know, it's hard for me to imagine, you know, getting, getting involved like that. You know, coming down here, you know, let's say, let's say this way, I don't know how it happened, but I think it might have been something like, uh, you know, uh, just like us, you know, somewhere out there in the big universe, out there in that infinite space, somebody, something, said, oh, let's search, let's look for something. Well, of course, you know, that's nature. Thing. So people go ahead and look. So somebody's screwing around there in other space, and they come across us. We're out there, too, you know. Well, the thing is, we're really not there, man. We are. This is all some kind of fucking program. 
there's some guy out there and he's like, okay, um, that's what these space guys did. See, they came down and they go there and they, they land out there in the desert, out there by 51, and so they're out there and they, they waddle around and they, they have wet feet and they waddle like ducks. They're very smart, very smart. They're very, very weird. They have wet feet and they walk like ducks, walk around like ducks, but they are very smart. And they fly spaceships and they travel intergalactically. Well, they landed here a long time ago. And they, they took over and they have this place out there where they originally landed out there, Area 51. And they, they took over the world now. They got this place. They say, okay, well, you know, I don't like this reality. We had a pretty good reality back then. You know, I mean, there were Indians, you know, and people, you know, I mean, there were problems, but it wasn't that bad. How do you guys come down? I said, oh, shit, man, we gotta fuck things up. And that's all they did. I don't know. I couldn't go on. It is a. Uh, it is a very strange world, that's all I can say. And with that, folks, I'm going to sign off here and tell you how much I love you. And much of what I'm saying tonight is just bullshit. Now, oh, come on, man. No, no, we can't stop. And we're